Hey ya, uh, welcome to my channel. Today I was thinking of trying out Escape from Lavender Town, which is a game based on the original Pokemon games, or an area of that. And um, it's a part of the game which is re recalled by Amani to be really spooky and creepy. And now somebody decided to make a a game out of that area, so I expect it to be even more spooky and creepy. And um, I was thinking of giving it a go <laughs> because I, I I enjoy Pokemon games and my YouTube channel's picture is of a Raichu, which is a Pokemon. And uh, I like horror games, so I thought this could be an interesting combination. And <laughs> that's a creepy picture. And I also read the, um, that the comments seem interesting where more or less everyone are saying it's going to be a creepy experience so um, let's give this a go now i'm not sure if this is a rom or if it's if i have to run it through an emulator or it's an exe so it might be some sort of install oh warning health and safety just like on the game boy and ds games so I guess it's it's just an executable to run the game directly then. Uh, is it a way to maximize this screen? This game has tendencies to break the fourth wall. Well, I just played I Am Scared, so I know that some games can do that. <gasps> oh White face! If this is the first time you've seen the stop screen error, check the game folder and restart. But I'm gonna take the challenge. Make sure that the area behind you is free of fragile objects in case they fail. But let's try it. Press any button to continue. <laughs> hey, that's creepy. A game by Suckmaster004. If you try to act on your real life, it will end when your life does. To play, you must make sure your sound is on. Otherwise, your game experience will not be the same. <laughs> it is also best, I bet. It is also best when played at night. So to avoid from waking anybody up, make sure that the volume of the music in the next room is rather low, but loud enough for you to hear the hidden frequencies. That's all. Press enter to start the game. F4 for full screen. There we go. It's just like uh, Undertale. <laughs> Oh, this takes me back. You seem to be limping a little bit. Oh, this really takes me back to the original games. Do I have any Pokemon with me? I don't know what the menu would be anyway, so I'm just gonna go with it. And there are nobody at the reception. I can't heal my Pokemon, I don't even know if I have any Pokemon with me. But I see you. How do I talk to you? I have a terminal illness. Oh god, that's not good. Oh, I, I can see the direction of this game already. That's... that's bad. Aren't you a child like me? Like, doesn't that mean that they're gonna die soon? Of an illness. You can come hang with me if you want, if you're allowed to go outside. We can go to the tower together. You need to... Try, at least try to enjoy life. Even if it's not long. Because all is all we, life is all we have, so... I, I'm sorry, I'm speechless, I don't know what to say. I was replaying the original Pokemon games uh, about two years ago and I got to this town and I thought well this music wasn't so scary I don't know what I was so scared about and then I entered this tower over here and the 8-bit music just screamed at me and then and I went 
Oh, so that's why. And trainers were saying blood, blood, and everything was haunted and stuff. And the further I go back in time, the, the less I wanted to do with horror, because everything was nightmare fuel to me. But now I'm back for a full experience, so to say. I am the name right here. Are you supposed to look at me when I'm talking to you? But I'm not in the mood to rate names today. This town has been getting more and more dull. I'm thinking about moving out soon. In the original game, I at least believe most people would look at you when you were talking to them. Now they're just... Hello. It's just looking the other way. Sometimes you hear voices at night. The dead come back to talk to us. I imagine that was the sound of a dead Pokemon. Do you really think I believe those things? Well, if you live in Lavender Town, I would expect you to believe those things. There aren't only good persons in this world. Some will do anything for money. And I expect- I suppose I can't go away? No. Everything is pink as well because if you didn't have a Game Boy Color, or I think regardless, blue, red, and uh, yeah, blue and red. If you went to different cities, then it just changed the color filter. Okay, I'm pretty sure the music changed to something dramatic once I entered this in the original game, and it was spooky. Well, there are people here at least. And I think those up to the top there are those who were possessed. If you stay too long, your brain will be damaged. I can see now that I'm gonna need a little bit of courage to go on. Let's have some milkshake. I have a lot of more coverage already. Sorry, the game is not finished. You can't quit with... I can't read that. Probably intentional. What's that, what's that loud humming noise in the distance? In the background, that's worrying me a lot. I am a link between this world and the other. Um... There was supposed to be an entrance up here to go further up the tower, but as the receptionist says, then the game is not finished, so... Okay. There's no way to go here. Let's go out. Were you here before? My Pokemon died last year. I come to the tower every day to pray for him. Yes, because this whole town was supposed to be some sort of Pokemon graveyard or something. I started off here, so perhaps... Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a Pokemark where you buy stuff. You look spooky. I think that's one of the Team Rocket sprites. Team Plasma wants to free all Pokemon. Team Galactic has been bombing lakes. Team Aqua and Magma resurrected two Pokemon that hated each other. But we, Team Rocket, have killed an entire family of Pokemon and left the sole survivor wear his mother's skull and he will roam around her grave for eternity. Yeah, because there was a Q-bone, I think, or a mother rat, one of the two, ghosts. I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting a weird feeling over all my body. I'm not sure if, if that's just me. It's probably for listening to this for too long. 
god, I'm creepy. It's loud as well. Yeah. So is that a hint for me to quit the game? at your games a little later but that was a little awkward because even before it started to flash and everything I could feel I still feel a little bit dizzy but that's probably because of the music and the thumping in the background of the music the humming noise and loud volume of course I feel even more dizzy it's as if I just Took off the Oculus Rift from a horror experience. Ooh, I'm quite dizzy. Let me just take this. Ow. It's probably something with the loud noise and everything. Ooh. But thank you a lot for coping with me and uh, watching my video. I'll see you later. Goodbye.